Yes, sir. We back at it. NBA Master Trainer Chris Johnson, your very own. If you haven't and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now. Don't wait. Right now. Turn your post notifications on so you can get all of our alerts when we drop in this heat. Let's go with it. All right, guys. So in today's video, it's going to be DeLon Wright, Atlanta Hawks point guard. And we got Justice Winslow, Portland Trailblazer. He's a forward, he's a guard, he can play in any position because of his body type. Let's get right into the video. So guys, we always kind of show different types of angles of attack. And in this particular angle of driving to the basket, Corey's already in a situation where I have to finish. One of the key things now is I'm gonna get my top foot over this foot, and we call this a veer finish, okay? Right. So as I'm driving, Corey's trying to body me. You notice I'm gonna get this top foot, and I put the ball really strong, so now I can accelerate to the basket. A lot of times what happens is guys allow themselves to be pushed out, or what we call washed out, because now as I'm going, they pick it up, and they shoot a layup, and they get pushed out of bounds. We want to win that battle, and that's the detail. The detail is to get the top foot over as I pick it up and I stride. Now, if you notice, I was able to get my top foot over Corey into the basket. What, 1v1? <laughs> I ain't going to miss. One of my key training methods is that I believe that every line has multiple finishings on it. So on that, strain, on that same line, Corey, that we did a veer on, now we want to look at what we call a bump euro. The bump euro only happens if Corey's trying to take away my drive with his complete body. So as I'm driving it, one, two, if you notice, Corey took that line away. So I had to change my line. So when you're watching the video, look back at the details. Do it one more time, Corey. It's two dribbles. One, two, coming across. We can finish left hand, left foot. We can finish right hand, left foot but we have to finish at the rim. So guys, one of the key things that you'll see is drawing fouls is very critical, but putting the pressure on the referee to make a decision is probably even more critical. So don't always be concerned about getting the foul. Just make sure the ref knows that you're an aggressive player and that you understand how to attack the offensive guy. So in this situation here, Corey's head up with me. I'm gonna be attacking and I'm gonna use a kill dribble. So I'm going one dribble, two. Now if you notice on that kill dribble, I was able to get from this side of the court to that side of the court. Try to pick up a little bit more on the pace. One, two, three. Now, playing through that contact of Corey reaching, I want to be able to get to the rim. We call that a kill dribble right into that sweep through, okay? So now I want to look at a really strong hand guy. Guys that are big, they're strong. Corey's a little bit more taller. He's a little bit leaner. He's not big and strong. But imagine if he was a bigger and stronger guy. And so, huh? I'm very strong. No, 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 no. So if he was a stronger guy, I would want to go into my football. So it's the same technique as that sweep through. I'm attacking one, two, now. If you notice when I protect the ball like this, boy, man, man, I'm in trouble. I can run through it. Now I can get to the rim to finish. If there was a multiple defender, if there was another defender here, there would be a small gap that I can get through. Even if I'm driving at court, I can go. You can see some of the better basketball players get to the rim, attack the rim, or finish at the rim with those finishes. So we had a veer, bump euro, the sweep with the kill dribble and the kill dribble into the football. Those angles happen anywhere on the court. Doesn't matter if I was going left or right, apply these finishes. Put over. Beautiful, Jay. Over. Get a ball, huh? You got it. Nice. That's good. 
Walk, get across. And one. Get your line out of there. Up. Nice. Three. Get across, get across. That's how I get you. Quick throw. Attack. Outside foot. Point foul. So now on a kill group, you can go from that place to that place and it's good. Boom. That's it. Boom. And that's it. Oh, and one. Got it, Delon. Now that's good. Boom. Right there. Oh, and one. That's perfect. Boom. So now, when you see gap still here, I'm gonna see that gap. Coming through the gap right here. Okay? Get through the gap. That's pretty good, dude. Man, you coming enough. And one, other side. Beer. Right there. See that? That's a beer. Good. And one. Bump Euro. So the bump Euro, he's going to come right through here. It's going to be contact. Bump Euro. Changing lanes. We want to be able to drop the ball. There you go. Right, oh, football. So now, okay, he need one more. Why he's working on that one? We want to be able to go in the football to where we good. We protect the ball right here, right here. Oh, oh. In the football, it helps you get through the gaps and it allows you to protect the ball. Ready? So watch, here's the gap. All right, so look, so we're going to teach them the two-way drive. On the two-way drive, it's, it's really, really good because it allows you to keep your dribble, number one, and your drive on your attack to the rim. And number two, it allows you to see where that defender is when it comes to getting separation. So as I'm attacking Corey here, I'm attacking it straight line foot through into my body. So I'm driving it. Now I want to drive away from him to create that separation. Let's look at that again. It was a straight line drive to the basket, which allows me to be able to get this. So no matter which way I'm going, boom, I'm driving, boom, separation, right on that. Pop. So guys, when, whenever, you, whenever you're creating separation, you don't always have to pick the ball up too early. You can keep your dribble, have a second drive, and get to your spot on the floor. Look at that. 
Because when he creates separation, there's nothing he can do. Nothing. This guy thinks he's first team all defense. Don't it's think, I know. It's all respect. Though. What? All respect. How is that? Who, who, who have you stopped, Corey? Name somebody I haven't stopped. Me? Stop. Stop that. You never beat me in one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Who would like to see me and Corey Last play one-on-one -on -one live? Top, wing, elbow, elbow. Who will win? Put it in the comments below. Put I it, need to know. Put them in the comments below. Know. And we'll drop this 1v1 right now because I know this guy can't beat me. Stop that. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe we'll to the channel too. today. Huh? We can go live too. Oh, you want to play it live? Yeah. So the world can know that there ain't no cuts, <laughs> no gimmicks. No edits. Ed, all that. It's over. You don't want to smoke. Skittles. Guys, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe today to our channel. Make sure you check Corey Smith page out. Yes, He's going to be dropping heat. He's the new wave. He's for you 2020 babies. Let's go with it. Yes, sir. Drop your comments below if you want to see me and Corey get this 1v1 in. We out.